If you keep your boat in salt water, you have to paint the bottom with anti-fouling paint. This is a special paint that has copper in it that prevents barnacles and marine growth from attaching to the underside and causing problems as well as slowing down your boat. We suspect that the boat had been kept in salt water most of its life so the bottom had been painted, although we don't know for sure how long it's been painted. Since we keep it on a trailer at home, I wanted to remove the stripe of anti-fouling paint off the side to see if I could make it look a little bit nicer. I chose to use a chemical stripper to remove the paint rather than sand it all down or media blast it. This particular brand seems to work really well and it was inexpensive and it's supposed to be safe. Whenever dealing with any type of stripper, always glove up and use eye protection. The paint stripper has a consistency kind of like thick pudding, so it allow it to cling on vertical surfaces. You want to brush it on pretty thickly so it can do its job, and the directions say it can work anywhere from a half an hour to 24 hours. I figured I would put it on and let it sit for about an hour and see what it did. I also masked off the area above the paint line with some painter's tape just to keep the stripper off of the hull that didn't have paint on it. I also applied it to the transom area to remove the paint that was back by the outdrive. You can see it's kind of starting to turn green and loosen up that coating. That's only been on for about 10 minutes. So we'll let it do its job and check back in a little bit. It's been sitting for about an hour. Let's see how this does. Something oddly satisfying about this. Definitely got off the top layer. Make it much easier to sand. Look at that. It's so satisfying. I slowed it down for your enjoyment. After I scraped off all of the residue and put it in the trash, I wanted to hit everything with the power washer to try to clean it up and get rid of any additional residue that was still on there. I used 100 grit sandpaper and then I hooked everything up to my shop vac so I could remove whatever residue that I could. And um, you can see that it took a little bit, but it all started coming right off of the gel coat. This is the bottom of the hull after I hit it with 100 grit sandpaper. Later I'm gonna come back with 1000 grit Aberlon and wet sand it, but actually all I had was 2000. So it came out nice, it just took a little bit longer than I thought. And then afterwards, I would hit it with the chop top and a polisher. There are some existing spots that have little bits of gel coat worn through. But all in all, it looks pretty good for 23 years old.
after everything was sanded off with the 2000 grit Aberlon, I wiped it down and then I was going to do a test spot with some chop top fast cut compound and my wool polishing bonnet. And I did that little area in the back there and you can see the shine came right up. So now I just have to do the rest of the boat and that's going to take a while.